I'm Angelina Royer and welcome to NBC Nightly News. Tonight we will be discussing the ambitious congressman from Texas and Republican presidential candidate Ron Paul. Ron Paul hopes that the third time is the charm. This ruthless Texan representative and doctor is running for his third presidential primary. He is continuing to spread his libertarian message for lower taxes and less national government involvement. Dr. Paul is a leader in Washington for limited constitutional government, low taxes, and free markets. Will Ron Paul finally get his chance to be the President of the United States? Earlier today, our reporter Taylor Goldsboro sat down with Dr. Paul and interviewed him. Dr. Paul, please tell us about your heritage. I was uh, born and raised in Pittsburgh. And I graduated from Gatorsburg College and the Duke University School of Medicine. And after I finished school, I became a flight surgeon in the, the U.S. Air Force in the 1960s. Uh, my wife, Carolyn, and I moved to Texas in uh, 1968, where I started my medical practice in Brazoria County, a uh, special in obstet obstetrics and uh, gynecology, I have uh, delivered over 4,000 babies. Uh, Carol and I are proud parents of five children and have uh, 13 grandchildren. So how did you get involved in American politics? I, I first became active in politics in the 1970s. and uh, In 1974, I ran for congressman of Texas, but, but I was unsuccessful. However, two years later, I ran again and I won. While serving in the U.S. Congress in the 1970s and the early 1980s, my living in government beliefs were not as popular as Washington and I had hoped. I served on the House Banking Committee where I was a loyal advocate for sound monetary policy and an outspoken critic of Federal Reserves, of flashinary measures, and, uh, I'm also an advocate for, uh, for pro-life and pro-family values. I, 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 have, I have consistently voted to lower and or uh, abolish federal taxes and spending regulations by the federal government. I've been the recipient of numerous awards and, uh, um, uh, and honors during my career in the U.S. Congress uh, as the National uh, uh, Taxpayers Union and uh, uh, the, the Citizens Against Government. Currently, I'm on the House Committee in uh, Financial Services and, and the House Committee on Foreign Affairs. <laughs> According to Real Clear Politics, you are currently in fifth place for the Republican presidential nomination with 8.5%. Gallup polls indicate that you have a 44% favorable rate among Republicans who recognize you, an 11% strongly favorable rate, a 25% percent unfavorable rate and six percent strongly unfavorable rate what is your reaction to these polls oh well my my my, my restore america now plan it's uh it slams on the brakes and puts america in a return to constitutional government it's uh, uh boldness is what i think concerns some republicans however we need to restore america now and restore america now and, and not punish the american people how much money has your campaign raised? Uh, I have uh, uh, been pulling in the substantive halls of uh, $14 million, uh, $17 million, and, uh, and $8 million, respectively. Wow. So what do you think attracts these supporters? My, uh, my specific libertarian views attract a core uh, uh, of really strong, uh, loyal supporters who, who increase my online donations, my, uh, my pool of highly active... Small dollar donors' contributions uh, made up half of my third quarter donations. If you want to see the complete interview, it's available online at our website. Thank you for watching our broadcast. We hope to see you again. Good night. Restore America now! Vote Ron Paul! <laughs>